Great. So we're recording now. Um, everyone, I am pleased to introduce you to Mohamed Sadat Abdullah, Ghanaian Wikimedian, educator, researcher, and open data advocate. He was an organizer, so he was in your role at, at some point. He's, also, he's worn many hats here at Art and Feminism. Uh, as an organizer, then a regional ambassador, then a co-lead, and now as a contractor with Art and Feminism. He knows so much and is definitely the person that is best equipped to lead us in today's community hour. So please welcome uh, Muhammad uh, to, to the session. <laughs> yeah, welcome Muhammad. Thank you for the... Uh... <laughs> The introduction, Kira. So I'm going to share my screen and welcome everyone. I would just um, take a minute or two and ask everyone to say your name, where you are based, and maybe your pronouns also. Um, so who wants to start? Let's see. Ngozi, why don't you start? Okay. I'm Gazo Sadebe, Art and Feminism Organizer, University of Nigeria and Soka. Uh, my pronoun is she and her. I don't know if I got it right. Yes. Can you pick the next person to do this? Okay. Tim is here at Tama, can you? <laughs> Yes, my name is uh, Chemeza Tama. I'm the yeah. founding director of Equity Watch Initiative, located at the University of Nigeria, Asuka. Uh, she, her is my pronoun. Thank you. I'm actually um, trying to, to get out of uh, traffic now so that I can hear you well. Thank you. Okay. And um, as in Njoko, can you introduce yourself? Yes. Hello. My name is Ez, Mrs. Ezin Njoko. I'm an art and feminism facilitator. I'm in UNN, University of Nigeria Library. Thank you. Your pronoun? My pronoun is she and her. Who do you expect to go next? Kira, is she still with us? Kira, are you there? Okay, I'll just pick someone. <laughs> I'll back out, Kita. Okay. Do you want to say hi? Loretta, are you there? I think she has left us. Um, so I'll just pick someone randomly from my list here. Okay. Um, I see okay, Abu Bakr just vanished, so Abdul Rashid. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Hello. Uh, please, my name is Abdul Rashid Yusuf. <laughs> um, so. Hello. Yes, Abdul Rashid, go on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my name is. It's, it's like someone is talking. So, Abdulashi, just hold on. Um, Keita, could you do your intros? Okay, looks like Keita has left us. Or oh, is it? Donc, je disais, c'est Keita Boubacar de la République de Guinée. Thank you, Keita. Um, Abdrashid? My name is Abdrashid Youssef. I am uh, a Ghanaian, a, a member and a co-founder of the Ghana with Medians User Group. And I also serve as the grants manager of the user group. My pronouns are he or him. Thank you. Thanks. Who do you pick to go next? Um, let me see. Okay. 
the end she told Yes, um, my name is Hussein Mohamed Kamal Dean. On Wikimedia platforms, I'm called DN Shitobu. Um, I am with the Dagban Wikimedia User Group in Ghana. I am a facilitator at the user group. Thank you. Who do you pick to go next, Hussein? Okay, on my list, I see Achiri, but I'm similarly. So, Achiri, introduce yourself. Okay, I'll move on to the next person. Um, Bo Lee. Um, okay, also radio silence, then I, oh, I thought I had someone speaking. All right, then I would, um, Kelly, how are you? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kelly and uh, I'm in the United States in uh, New England, uh, network organizer, uh, and I pick, uh, Suleimana, unless they've already gone. Suleimana, are you there? Okay, maybe not. And also, if you feel more comfortable, just type in, in the chat, that's also fine. Um, the next person on the list here is Mohamed Awal al -Hassan. Okay, Mohammed Awal al Hassan is muted. Um, I have Musa Hussein, Ghana. Yeah, hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's good yes. afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, nice seeing your face live again. <laughs> Likewise. It's been a while. <laughs> Greetings from Ghana. I'm Musa Fusini, a, a team member of uh, Dagbani Wikimedians um, user group. I just uh, got connected, I just joined. And if I understand what's going on, uh, we are doing introduction. So I'm here to learn. Let me just put it that way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Musa Fusini. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. else? Have I missed? I think that's the one on the list. Um, if I missed you, Thank sorry. You. I have Ezene Njoku. Yes. Okay. Ezene is trying I, to connect. She has introduced herself before from my end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, this meeting is being recorded. Okay, so could you please introduce yourself if you're not talking, um, then we can get started. So thanks so much, everyone, for being here once again. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. All right. So um, like Kira said, this session is um, it's meant to <laughs> And also sort of give you the context of the need to add um, your event details to Wikidata. So yes, yes, kind yes. Of the goal of this session is to yes, enable yes. you, the organizers, you know, to add these event statistics to Wikidata. Yes, yes. Um, yes. Want to properly organize our uh, 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 campaign's metrics and to structure data for analysis so that we can query that data over time and location. Um, so 
in the end, um, you as organizers should add this information to Wikidata, maybe during the event or after you know the program has happened until the end of the annual uh, campaign cycle. So we can have it all organized there. And what are the kinds of data that you can add um, before we, we go into further details? We're looking at, first of all, the location of the events, um, the event. as a statement. And then you can also add as many relevant qualifiers as possible. What is, sorry, I'm hearing an echo from someone's end. Can you mute yourself if possible? I'll see if I can mute you from here also. But if you can do it from your end, that would be great. Right, so we are adding just you know one statement that is the location of your event, and then as many relevant qualifiers as possible. So for each statement that you uh, for each um, for each state that you add, telling us the location of your event, it would be cool if you could also add number of participants that attended the uh, the event. Um, you know in time when it happened, uh, link to the dashboard and anything else. But these are the four main things that would be very useful for us. Um, so in the past, I used to um, organize this, you know, these statistics uh, somewhat manually, um, creating maps on the wiki and it involved a lot of um, it was just too cumbersome to continue doing it that way. And also because it wasn't structured, it was just recreating a map with the locations and um, the other details. So there wasn't any way to be able to, to, um, to meaningfully query the data in any way that can be helpful. So that's why we decided to transition from creating these manual maps to showcase how the event went in the course of the year and putting that data on Wikidata so we can actually query it and um, ask more complex questions of it, like, you know, the number of participants from West Africa, for example. This is um, a question that we can easily answer if we have this data on Wikidata. I'm just looking at the chats. Kelly is saying, I suppose the recording couple with the invitation to meet counselor. Okay. I think so, yes. Kelly, do you want to do you want to speak more about this? Um, No, I, I was just speculating why so many people were remaining silent during the invitation to speak. That's all. It's a, it's old and outdated now. So, oh, okay. Please yeah, go sorry. on, Mohammed. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's fine. Yeah, just feel free to interrupt me or like um, write something in the chat, and then um, I can pause at any time. It's fine. Um. So, I. So you might be asking, you know, how do I go about doing this? I would give a practical example of uh, how to do that. There's a video in this slide that I can share here in case you want to take a look at it later. Also, this session is going to be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. You can take a look at it. And also I have, I created some instructions um, on Wiki where you can look at how to go about it also. Um, but I would do a quick demo of, of that. So um, I suppose a lot of us, maybe all of us, are already familiar with Wikidata in general. Um, it's an assumption, I hope so. Um, but if there's someone here who isn't like, doesn't know what Wikidata is, um, briefly, Wikidata is this, free knowledge base that contains structured data that is based on you know facts and references that anyone can edit. And um, 
items are what is what are used to represent all the terms, you know, uh, including topics, concepts, and objects on Wikidata. Um, on Wikidata, um, the terms on Wikidata are modeled based on what we call triples. So the, the three different parts of, um, of a triple is what we call a statement. So what you are looking at now, um, here is an item which has you know, some QID and there's a property instance of and a value which is art and feminism campaign. So each statement at an item page links to some property which is assigned to some value. Um, simply put, a triple can be read like a sentence in plain English, you know, as a statement containing a subject, predicates, and an object. So in this example, they are looking at on your screen. I have two screens um, showing you on my right side here. Um, this item is as in feminism 2022 campaign. It's an instance of an art and feminism campaign. So another statement in this item, art and feminism 2022 ca uh, campaign, which is the item, is that it has location, which is Philippines. That is just one of the locations. Oh, and that is not all. Aside from the basic triple model, we can also add, you know, extra details to sort of, you know, contextualize Wikidata statements. And we can do so by adding qualifiers and even references to those statements. Um, qualifiers allow statements to be expanded on, annotated on, you know, beyond what is generally expressed as in the statement form. So for example, um, this as in feminism 2022 campaign has location, which is Philippines statement, you can add a simple property fair value and qualify it by including the number of participants, which is 26 here, as you can see on the screen. Or point of time being safe for March 2021 to sort of, you know, add a bit of context to when that event occurred. And of course, you can add references, which is not very relevant to um, the situation. But I mean, if you do have references to to include your statements, that is also fine. I'm just accepting a few more people. Zoom. Okay. So, like I said, we are interested in just four statements that can allow us to analyze the metrics data properly. The number of participants, the point in time, uh, oh, yeah, the website. official website, that is the dashboard link, and of course, the location of the event. Um, and I'll, I'll just pause with you and um, ask you guys if do you think there are other data points that would be, you know, you would like to be able to show the world about like how your event is going aside from these four main. I mean, four statement, um, four statement and qualifiers that I have here. Maybe any suggestions? Um, so I work on art and feminism. These are these are the, these are the things we want to be able to use to analyze. I'm just curious, like, do folks think that um, there could be other things that would be interesting to have that like you'd want to show to the rest of the world, like what is happening at your event? Maybe you can think of uh, think more about this as we go around and then you can let us know. Um, I don't speak French. So, um, HP, <laughs> um, can anyone help translate what HP just typed here?
Yes, I'll remind you about the Wikidata link. Oh, okay. Yes, I will do that. Cool. All right. So Wikidata items have statements and qualifiers. And I will show you an example of how that should um, that should be entered. So if you can still see my screen, I would switch my tabs. This is um, our 2020 campaigns um, Wikidata item. And as you can see, we have, oh, let me zoom in so you can appreciate what I'm talking about. So we have, you know, location and then this event right at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Uh, the number of participants were entered, points in time were entered, and then a link to their dashboard. And then more statements could be added, um, like more locations of um, the event happening in other places of the world. So once we have uh, these statements on an item, yeah, once we have the statement in an item, it's easy for us to write a query and then show the result in a map, for example. And you can see that in 2020, we had a number of events in Ghana and uh, actually two. And uh, in other parts of the US, actually most of the event happened in the US and then Europe also and all of that. So this is um, what you would be seeing if your data was part of, um, was included in the um, in the item for 2020. But if it wasn't there, then you would have organized an event, but we wouldn't see it here. Okay, so that's why it's, it's important for you as organizers to include your data on Wikidata. So Kelly is asking, do you only want data on Editathon events or other events as well, such as training outreach events? Yeah, training events, editor tones. Um, so far as they are under the umbrella of the, you know, 2022 campaign, as in feminism 2022 campaign, uh, campaign please include it there. Yeah. So let's take a quick example. Um, this is the Wikidata item and Okay, this is the Wikidata item for the 2022 campaign. It is still empty. I just created it today. Um, do you have any volunteer who would want us to include an event that they organize uh, and use that as practical? Then I'll just add it for you to see how it works. Okay. Chimezi. Okay. Yes, we had an event. Hello. Right. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, we had an event at UNA, okay. uh, a training event last three days. Okay. Okay. So. Hello, Chimezi. That was okay. why I was raising my hand. I wanted to indicate okay, that. Okay, so you can report. All right. So let me start to add it, and then we can add the number of participants, the dashboard link, and the rest. So let's first of all add the location first. University, it was at um, UNN. University of Nigeria, Suka. Okay. Can you include Osuka, please? Because we have many uh, campuses. Oh, yeah, right. Just put command, then include Osuka. Okay, University of Nigeria. So, which Osuka. campus? Osuka is already there. Okay. It's Osuka the first... campus, yeah. Yes. yes. It's the first one, I think. Yes, the first one. 
Okay. So I have published it. And then we can add um, the number of participants. We can add the point of time. We can also add the link to the dashboard. I'm not sure why my browser just keeps freezing. Just a second. Oh no. Uh, I'm able to click on the item anymore. Just a second. Okay. I'll open a new one. All right, so we have a location, one of it has been added. And then let's add a qualifier. Let's add the point in time. When did it, when was the event? So it was fifth and sixth, the training. Okay, so we can- Fifth and sixth of April. Right. 2022. April 2022. Okay. Hello, um, can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Okay, I saw P and some numbers, but it has disappeared. Where point in time is now? Should I do it again? Yes, can we repeat it? April 2022. Are you okay? Yes. We said 5th and 6th of April. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so actually you are not going to be able to add a range of dates, uh, but you can add several points in time. So we can add it the fifth first, and then we can add the sixth also after that. So um, ideally we can add another qualifier, which is also a point in time um, or we can, we can have a start time on one date and an end time on another date if we want to keep it um, within some range. Yes. But I prefer for us to have it at separate points in time because it's so much easier to query. Um, but ideally for your case, that's um, very interesting. Let's remove this and then say start time as fifth and then include April, okay. And then an end time on the SIF. Then I would have to write a different query to be able to, to work with the start time and end time. End time six. April, 2022. Okay, we can also add um, a number of participants and then a link to the dashboard. So let's see, do you have an estimated number of people who attended there? Yes. 36 participants. Okay. How many people? 36. I, I, I think we, because we don't have the attendance here, I think we had more than 36. So, so my question is, is it possible to uh, update this, assuming we look at the attendance and it's, there are more than 36? Yes, you can always come back and update it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at a few questions here from the chat. Uh, could we add other events? So this is from Dean Shitu. 
could we add other events or programs on Wikidata aside, as in feminism campaigns, and how does one look at it? And how does one look it up from the lookup? So, well, for the first part of your question, yes, you can add other events to another item that you want to keep track of. Um, for this specific 2020 campaign, we are trying to keep track of events that within that umbrella, under that umbrella. So please add the events related to adding feminism 2022 campaign to this item. If you want to be able to track other events, maybe not related to art and feminism, you can create an item and then add these statements there. And then you can write a query to do things with, um, with that item also. So I hope that clarifies it. And there's another question from Kelly. Do you also want to include wiki edu events for classes when they also and I, would, I would say yes. Um, we want to be able to <laughs> we want to be able to keep track of everything out in the feminism as much as possible that are carried in that year. So even if it's a wiki edu events but it's related to art and feminism, please include it there. Yeah. Um, Okay, let's go back to um, University of Nigeria's events. We can add another qualifier, the website. And how do we do that? So you just add a qualifier official website. So usually some events organizers have you know maybe links to um, to the events from a university website, which is more ideal. But if you don't have a website that is like um, your event is linked to, simply use the dashboard and yeah, we're fine. So if okay. you do you have um, a link? To yes. We have a website, you know, um, the event was organized under Equity Watch Initiative, which is a non-governmental organization that is committed to promoting gender equality. So we have a website, but we are yet to upload the event because we still have an activity next week. So maybe when we are done, we can upload everything and put the link here. Yes, now we are. Okay. Hello, Marceline. Yes, Ngozi. Okay. I think the official website you are requesting for is the dashboard link. Is it the outreach dashboard link? Yes. Oh. So um, if you have like a more official, official, you know, in quotes website <laughs> that actually has a listing of the event and like, you know, just telling people about the events on some like neat websites, it's preferred to have that to the dashboard. But, you know, usually most events organizers don't have um, websites like that or links to websites. So using the outreach dashboard link is totally fine. Okay, so I want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So if we publicize this activity through the university website, we can put the university website here. Yes, put it here. I would love that you put it here instead of the outreach dashboard. Okay. Yes. Let's see, do we have any more questions? Um, one has any questions or needs clarification? Yes, um, uh, Mohammed, I'm sorry to draw you back. Uh, no in terms of talking about the number of participants to add 
to the data. Mm -hmm. Are we specifically looking at those that participated or those that the editors, the total editors that we have on our dashboard? I missed the last part of your question. Could you please? Okay, okay. I mean, you asked for the number of participants. And I wanted to know whether the people that you will add are just those that participated in the event, the people that, the people that came in person to participate, or do we have to look at the total editors that signed up and, and we have them on the dashboard? So, I was chopping a bit. I'm going to try and repeat the question as I heard it. If I'm correct, then I will, I will, I will take it from there. So if I understand why you were asking, you said, um, should you include, sh should the number of participants be what is, you know, what you have on the dashboard or the number of people who actually attended the event? Um, yes. Ideally, I think they would, you know, be the same number of people um, you'd be including in the dashboard. Um, if you are counting, so let me show an example. Yeah, let's see the dashboard. Let's pick one event. You can look for Equity Watch Initiative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that will be sure. <laughs> All right. Um, Africa Watch in this search for Africa Watch. I think it's from programs. You didn't go to programs. Yeah, programs, Africa Watch. Yeah. Oh, let's search from here. I'm um, not finding it here. Let's look through. Equity, equity watch. Oh, I had Africa watch. Right. No, it's equity. Okay, I've seen equity watch. Okay. So yeah. I see. Um, okay, 43 editors. Um, that's a lot of, yeah, that's awesome. So is I'll just this of editors and then I would add it here as 46. Thank you. Yeah. So ideally, you know, be the number of participants from the dashboard. Thank you. That's clear enough. Welcome. Do we have any more questions? Um, oh, cool. Hello, can I ask a question? Yes. Hello. Hello, Master. Yes, go ahead. Okay. So, from what I can see, every other information is except that of location. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, every, uh, if we look at the, can we, can you scroll up a little bit? Oh, can you item. scroll up? Yes, to item. Okay. Okay, statement, let us look at the statements. Instance okay. of art and feminism campaign is already embedded in the website. Okay, yes. You're out of it now. So what I, I'm asking, so where we have a job to do is at the location. Yes, it's at, it's at the location, uh, just for the location statement only. Okay. So if Equity. the next Equity. Watch. 
Sorry. Yeah. So the next person adding, um, adding a statement would simply add a new value. You are not going to add it as a, sorry. Um, we are not going to add a new statement because we already have a statement that is telling us about the location. So we are simply going to include in the next location that you want to add. Let's say there was an event so, at University of Ghana also. University of Ghana. I would add it this way. Um, publish. And then I would add um, qualifiers, maybe point in time, 4th of April, 2022. I would add of participants. Okay. For example, and then I'll add it to the dashboard. And the next person also has a new value and so on. Does that help? So that once we have everything here, like I did 2020 data, which is um, the item for 2020 is um, very well covered we're able to see all the events on our map and we could tell, we could simply add the numbers, we could simply pull out the locations and all of that. So that is really very helpful for our work and um, yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. Uh, Yes. Moi, j'ai besoin de, du lien de cette carte. Um, could, could I get a French interpretation of what Abu Bakar just asked? We still need a link. Yeah, you still do need a link. Good. Um, so that is in this slide. Let's give you the link now. Um, I'll add it to the chat here. Also, I will share the slides with you after this, just in case you want to take a look. But I just added an item to the link um, to the chat and then you can access it. And also, if you uh, more interested, my brother is freezing up again. You can also take a look at um, the results here once you know you are done adding all of the data. Um, yeah. So here you can see that. Because we had, um, the University of Nigeria events, I can already see it here with 46 participants and the location. And I also, you know, just did a mock of um, an event that probably didn't happen or did happen, I don't know, at the University of Ghana. And you can see that these two locations have already shown up in Wikidata. And that is because we have entered on the item. If you have any questions. Okay. okay, it looks like it's pretty straightforward, <laughs> given that 
there are no more questions. Uh, oh, can we go back to the wiki data page? Yes, we can. You can also there now. So that was uh, yeah, we have it here. The results here one zero zero and I don't know. Two locations added. Mm -hmm. Do you have a okay. question around that? Um uh, yes. Uh this under University of Nigeria or mm -hmm. University of Ghana, mm -hmm. there is start time and end time. Mm -hmm. But when we started uh, inputting the items, the start time and end time were not the words or the statements there. How did you arrive at them? Can we look at another question? Um, we can do it all. We can do it all over again if you like. Okay. So I'm going to remove these two states, uh, these two qualifiers, and then add them again. So we have University of Nigeria. No, I, I, well, I, we have not gotten there because the number of participants is still there. Well, uh, let us start on a fresh page. Okay, I can move this entire University of Nigeria and then this way, then we add it again, right? Is that what you mean? Yes, yes. Can we okay. just have a blank, a blank, total blank page? All right. So I've removed it and I'm doing it, um, I'm doing it again. So you click on add value. You don't need to okay. add a new. Okay, first is to add value. Yes. Wait. Value. Um, I click on add value now. Okay, add value. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. The statement is we're adding the location for an event. Yes. Yes. The location is University of Nigeria. Good. Uh, we have an Nigeria's and places. What we are looking at is the Instagram. Oh. Okay. So we publish. Then we add more qualifiers. We add a qualifier to, to the statement. Last time. Okay. April 5th. And then I publish. And then I add an end time that is 6th of April 2022. And I click on publish. So in adding the qualifiers, once you click on edit, on the University of Nigeria as a location statement. You see add qualifier, the plus sign just below the, the, the date. So here you can add something else. You can add a um, number of participants. For it was and publish. And once you have the link ready, either the dashboard link or the official university, link, you can add it also as a profile website, the official website, and then you add a link there, and then you publish. So that is that is it for just that event. So if you, as an organizer, you organize several events. Um, you add them. Um, so let's say you organize one at University of Nigeria, and then you organize another one somewhere. You add them as different statements. Um, yeah. Krishna. Does that help? Kelly has to leave. Yeah. See you, Kelly. Does that help, Ngozi? Yeah. It helped a lot because I was wondering where we clicked to arrive at the start time. I might have gotten it. Thank you very much. 
Your voice is chopping off because if you are talking, it was chopping off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I'm not able to hear at all. It's just chopping. Could you type it in the chat, maybe? I'm going to see if your, your connection is very, very bad. Maybe do you mind like uh, reconnecting? Morning in progress. So now we recognize. I guess in the we have not gotten there. Because the number of participants you get put a little on the first page. Hello, it's not me. I'm not talking. Oh, okay. I can hear an echo. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Can we just have a blank? A blank uh, session. There are any last questions? I'm happy to take them. We <laughs> are. Otherwise, if there are no questions. I would say, oh, Ngozi, raise your hand. Ngozi, go ahead. Okay. No. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. So after inputting this information, mm -hmm. we want to retrieve them from. Uh, Wikipedia or Wikidata, how do we query it? Where do we query to get this information? Okay, that's a great question. So I have shared with you, um, I'll share it again, and also the slides, but I'll share it here with you again. There's a link that I had already written a query to pull this information from Wikidata. I've shared the link with you in the chat. If you click on the link, it will bring you to this page. Let me, let me see the link. Is it the one ending with 52Z0? Exactly. OK, if I click on it. Mm -hmm. If uh -huh. you click on it, it brings you to an output. Of the uh -huh. okay. oh, this is actually um, from 2020, I think. Let me pull up the one for 2022 for you. Um, Just a second. Okay. So the link I shared was the 2020 results. This is now the 2022 result I just shared in the chat now. If you click on that link, you would see um, you'll see the two events that we just added the one from Nigeria and the one from Ghana. So you can always come back to this I'm link. Not seeing it, I can see it. Okay, when you click on the link, what do you see? Okay, okay, I didn't, I was following you because I didn't click on it. Let me click on it.
So if you click on it, it would open. Yes, mm -hmm. yes it opened Wikidata logo and then a map of uh, Nigeria. Okay, do you see the yeah. do you see the red dots on the map? I think somewhere close yes. to the right side. Right? And if you yes. click on the dots, somewhere close to Enugu, yes. Yes, if you click on the dots, you see number of participants, 43. You see the location is there, you see the University of Nigeria. And then if you look somewhere towards your left, you would see the events are added for the University of Ghana also. If you click on it, you would easily see uh, the number of participants, the dates that it occurred, and then the location also. That's beautiful. Yeah. I got it, including even a picture of the University of Nigeria gates. Yeah. So uh, one... wait, 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 wait. I have not seen what we added. I was seeing probably um there is a wiki data documentation on the university of nigeria mm. so they are all there i'm looking for the art and feminism work we just added okay wikipedia wiki news i can see the one we just added now the one we just added was the um uh, the university of nigeria one so the output you would expect to see. Mm. Um, for some reason, my browser just skips. So the outputs, yeah, the output you would expect to be seeing would be um, this map. First of all, you would okay. likely see this query, and then you yes, see this map with the two points. That is the objective of adding those. Uh, those statements. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, how do we query together? How do we write the Sparky query? So, I've already written it for you. You don't have to have to okay. learn to do it yourself. Yeah. Okay. Just copy the link anytime. Just copy the query anytime. Paste it in the query service. Okay. Or okay. just follow the link and okay. it will bring you to the query service with the code and then output the results. Okay. Yeah, so what I would uh, recommend is just to keep the link handy. I would share the slides also with the link in it. So anytime you want to come back to it, you can always come back. And I would expect that as people add more locations, um, the events data, anytime you click on it, you know, it would refresh with the new data that people have added. And then you can see so many more red dots all over the world. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, I have um, a raised hand from Mohammed Awal Alassan. Go ahead. Uh, hello, Marcelle. Yes. Um, I, yes, um, someone asked a, a question about um, whether one can add other events uh, into this. Actually, I was having a network challenge at that time. I didn't to hear how you answered it. Could we add events? Um, that are not um, arts and feminism related to this one. And if yes, how is it done? Are we going to add it as a, new, uh, as a statement altogether? Okay, so um, <laughs> it just started snowing. Um, I, um, so for this particular item or for this particular uh, yeah, for this particular item, we want to be to be able to um, want to be able to track all of the events related to adding feminism. 
for 2022, you know, as part of the 2022 um, campaign. So we only would want you to include only events that are related to this campaign, this other feminism campaign. But if you have your other com uh, campaign that you want to be able to track how the events are going, you can simply create an item for that, a separate item, and then you can keep, um, you can also add these, you know, similar statements to that item and you can use it to manage your own campaign, um, which I would, you know, I've used um, Wikidata to sort of um, uh, track how um, certain events are going, not just related to adding feminism, and I would really recommend you to do that also. Because first of all, you have the data that people can look at, because it's on Wikidata now, and then secondly, it stays there forever, you can always come back to it. And as you build on it, you can query the data in so much more complex ways to ask more questions out of it. So yeah, if you have a separate events or campaign, that you have several events um, organized under it, just create a new item, and then you can add statements and that will allow you to organize your campaign also. I hope this helps. Okay, thank you, Marcele. And, and would, would, would this uh, query work for that one too, or one has to create another one? Ideally, um, changing the changing uh, the, the item names in the query can, you can use the same query with just changing the name of the campaign, for example. And if you've tried it and it doesn't work, just feel free to write me and then I can take a look at the query that you've written. But if you also want to just show location coordinates, location, official website, point in time, number of participants, all you have to do is just change this to the item that you've, you have created for your own campaign and it should work. But sometimes it might not work for some reason. If it doesn't, just write me. I'll see how I can help. All right. So we are over time and I would want to thank you all for being here and um, especially again to our interpreters, thanks for staying a little over time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write me on Telegram or email or ping me in a thousand other locations where you can find me at. And I wish you all a nice rest of the day and take care, see you. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thanks for endorsing my program. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay.